Okay, let's go ahead and put this card together here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card base and just fold it at the score marks. Okay, this is gonna be the face of your card. And we did include a like colored insert here just to kind of stabilize the back and give you a nice area to stamp or journal on. So we're gonna apply our glue. We wanna make sure that we get enough glue out to the edge to keep that nice and flush and then a very, very thin line inside here so we don't warp the paper. Okay, and then probably do make sure that you kinda have a good angle on this so that you can put this down and maintain a nice even border all the way around. Just push and hold that down for just a few seconds and let it set. Okay, so that's that. And next, you can go ahead and take this piece. Now let me just show you the differences here. Now we have three pieces that are the same width and height. Okay, we're gonna glue these all together and then we're gonna pop dot those or foam square them onto the actual base of the card. So we do want to glue this piece down here, like so, just making sure that we match up all the cutouts. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna get a nice line of glue out to the edge. Okay, and then we're gonna work a really thin little line of glue on the inside here. Make sure that you get a little bit in between these little fine detailed areas. And these are actually not all too fine, but fine enough to where you wanna get a little bit of glue in there. Okay, and just do your best to use the cutouts to help you with the alignment on this. You wanna make sure that you've got it nice and perfectly aligned all the way around. And that will ensure that you have a nice even border all the way around. So go ahead and push that down and let that take hold. Okay, so we're pretty much like halfway there. And all that's left is these three layers here. Okay, I'm gonna start with the larger layers. We're gonna glue this layer right on top of this layer, like so, okay? And you've got the edges here to help you with the alignment. So that will go on nice and easy. And we can go ahead and wanna make sure that we get our glue out to the edge first and foremost, so that sits nicely. And then just work a little bit of glue around these little detailed areas. Just from experience, you don't need to get it in every little nook and cranny. Just make sure you get some of the, some of the major areas. And then with these smaller details, I like to just use little dots. I can flatten them out with the glue nozzle and that way it won't smear everywhere, but it gives just enough glue to where it'll hold nicely. Okay, so we're gonna pop that right on top of this layer here. Again, we're using the edges of the cutouts here for alignment help. Okay, just push down and get that in place. There we go. And we're just gonna repeat that same process with this piece here and that's gonna go right on there, okay? So, um, kind of been, well, let me just talk about this for a second. Okay, again, I'm starting with the exterior, making sure that I get enough glue out to the edge here. I want that to be nice and flush and clean, okay? And then I would go around here using a little, my little dot method here to get the glue on this piece. And again, there's a lot of fine details here. If you wanna use like a spray glue, um, you're more than welcome to do that. That will definitely ensure that every little nook and cranny here has a good grip. But again, just from experience, I found that, especially in little areas like that, you don't need to be all too concerned about getting glue on every little tiny little piece. Okay, so I'm using the middle here to get my initial alignment. And then I'm gonna pick this up and just kind of use my fingers to get the rest of this aligned nicely. Okay, I'm just gonna push that down and let it set. There we go. All right, so that looks really pretty. And actually, just from my experience here, 
um, we are going to put some little rhinestones on this. And I'm going to do that before I pop dot, or uh, I should say um, foam square that piece onto the base of the card. Okay, so let me get four little rhinestones that are the same size here. Okay, let me put these back. And it's just going to add a little extra a little extra love to this card. I have, where did it go? Here it is. Just use a little scrap piece of paper. Just throw down a little bit of glue. I've got my pick-me-up tool. Grab my little rhinestone, dip it in a little bit of glue, and then I'll take it and actually smear a little bit off onto my paper, because I don't, I don't want too much on there. And just pop it right in place, okay? Then once we have this layer on, we're going to flip it over and we're going to put some foam squares on this entire piece and we're going to foam square it onto that piece to finish off our card. Got a little envelope to put together which is also really quick and easy to do. And again, these cards are very versatile, really quick to put together. Uh, I mean, you're, you're kind of I'm not really going to be doing much editing in this video, uh, aside from if I sneeze or cough or something and I need to edit it out, you're seeing this pretty much in real time here. So you can see how quickly and efficiently these cards go together. Okay, so there is my rhinestone and I'm going to need to put a little bit more glue on that one. I just didn't get enough there. Okay, there we go. Pop that in place. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to raise this piece up by flipping it over and adding some foam squares. Okay, now if you have half inch foam squares, um, I would probably use those in the larger areas. I unfortunately ran out. And when you're putting these down, um, don't put them all the way out to the edge because you don't want your recipient to um, see them. It's okay if they see them, if they really look, but you kind of want to want to hide them as, as, as best as you can. So again, don't put them all the way on the edge of the card. I'd leave maybe an inch or so just to make sure that you've got a good hold, but you're not overdoing it. And once we have them in place, we're just going to peel the backing off, slap it on top of the, the base of the card, and your card is done, literally. Um, this is a fun little project to do when you want to do something crafty, but you don't want to spend an entire day. And doing so will give you a nice little stash of cards to have on hand um, for whatever occasion. Never know when you're going to need a card. And you've got your cutting machine, you've got your Cricut, you've got your Silhouette, you've got your Sizzix. I hope nobody, nobody is buying cards if they have that machine. Okay, so these are just, these are really great, again, to kind of just put together. You can probably make a, a bunch of these um, in just a couple hours, especially um, one of the features that I love about the Cricut Explore and Design Space is how you can just tell it how many of a project you want and it'll figure out how much paper you need and it just makes life easy. So you could literally be making dinner or working out or whatever it is you're doing while your machine's doing the cutting and then when the cutting's done, just sit down and have some fun putting this all together and before you know it, you've got a nice stash of cards for pretty much any occasion. Like I said, these are these are really versatile. And if you change up the colors on these, because a lot of these flowers um, that Ron designed for these cards are actually, I'm sure there's inspiration behind them, but they're not any specific flower. So um, you're not going to have to worry about this flower not working with this season or this occasion because it is usually um, associated with this occasion or, or you know this holiday so i've got my foam squares on there 
and I'm gonna use kind of the center as my starting point and then I'm looking all the way around to just make sure that I've got a nice even border and I'm just gonna lay that flat and just push down gently until I have my card completed. So there you go, the card is done. And now let's take a look at our envelope, which is also very simple to put together. So let me move this out of the way for just a second. And the envelope is made up of these three pieces. This is the main part here that the card's gonna go in. So you wanna go ahead and fold at the score marks here. Okay, now this piece here is the flap. So we're gonna fold that. And we've got our little color panel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm putting glue down. Let me get this out of the way here so you can see. I'm keeping the glue um, pretty much right up to where that score mark is. And then as far as this border goes, probably stay about an inch away from that border. You don't need to go too far out. And then throw a couple dots here and there on the little bow just to make sure that those pieces don't come falling back. And we're gonna take the flat part of this and try to align it. Um, you don't wanna encroach over the score mark, just get it right up there. And just push that down and hold it until it sets. So there's your little design. And then we're gonna take our glue. I'm gonna put a nice line of glue up to the edge there. I'm gonna smear that out so it's nice and flat there. I'm gonna push this down, put, put it down on my table. Get it nice and aligned on these sides here. And then just push the tab down. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna fold these in and fold that up. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue here. And that line was a little too thick for my liking. So I'm gonna just spread that out. And a little line here. And push that up and just Hold that down, give it a few seconds to really get a good grip. Okay. And I'm kind of going a little quick with some of the gluing on this. You definitely want to take your time a little more than I am, but that's pretty much it. And then you've got a nice, beautiful envelope for your card. Pop that right in there and you are ready to go. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.